In tonight's Democracy 2020 report, Joe Biden says he is concerned President Trump will try to steal the November election or refuse to leave the White House if he loses. The Trump campaign says the presumptive Democratic nominee is trafficking in conspiracy theories. Correspondent Peter Ducey has details from Philadelphia, where Biden made a rare public appearance today. Joe Biden's visit to the city of brotherly love included a roundtable discussion in the building where Dick Clark used to broadcast American Bandstand. I could never dance well, Della. So <laughs> well, Congressman Evans, he's probably too young to know anything about American Bandstand. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. But on a late night comedy show, Biden was far more serious. It's my greatest concern, my single greatest concern. This president's going to try to steal this election. Trump used that same language talking voter fraud fears in 2016. We don't want this election stolen from us. Trump's critics insisted those claims were unfounded. And four years later, Biden's worry involves doubts about mailed ballots. This is a guy who said that all mail-in ballots are fraudulent. And he's going so far to suggest that if Trump loses, he may not leave the White House willingly. You have so many rank and file military personnel saying, whoa, we're not a military state. This is not who we are. I promise you, I'm absolutely convinced they will escort him from the White House in a, in a, with great dispatch. Biden made a different claim this spring that the president may move the election, which quickly hit a dead end in the Rose Garden. I never even thought of changing the date of the election. Why would I do that? November 3rd. It's a good number. Uh, now I look forward to that election, and uh, that was just made up propaganda. So the election is on. And Biden is doing his part to prevent Democratic defections. The idea that somehow I've been told all along how young people don't think that I'm in the right spot, the right place. There is no polling evidence to sustain that, nor is there voting evidence thus far to sustain that. The list of possible Biden running mates may be narrowing because we know the vetting committee reached out to some women last month. But now one woman who has publicly pushed herself as a good fit for the job says she hasn't gotten any calls about that. Stacey Abrams. Brett? Peter, thank you.